when you were a sophomore at Morehouse College and Tommy Hilfiger made a campus appearance. How did that connection lead into your journey of becoming VP of a multi-billion dollar of the multi-billion dollar Tommy Hilfiger brand? Yeah, that's an almost true story. Most of that is true. Um, <laughs> that's why they come here to get the truth. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Um, no, I went to Morehouse College and uh, was so thrilled to be there at that time. You know, it was probably, I think it was the, our fall semester was right after school days had uh, premiered. And, you know, a different world was on and it was just a hot time to be on that campus, you know, literally where both of those shows were shot, the exteriors of a different world and all the school days. So, you know, I, you, you couldn't tell me nothing. I knew I was in the place to be, but I was not, uh, I wasn't studying as much as I, now that I'm older, I should have been. I was spending more time at Lenox Mall shopping and getting those, you know, credit cards that they give students, you know, with a 35% interest rate or whatever. Um, but, you know, in one of those times, uh, to uh, Tommy Hilfiger was making an appearance at uh, the department store, which is was called Riches, which was kind of like a, a higher end Macy's, like a Bloomingdale's. And me and my best friend went because they were giving away free duffel bags for the first 100 students who were to meet Tommy Hilfiger. Mm -hmm. And he had these signature duffel bags. Of course, we were broke. And when we got there, uh, we got in line, maybe people 50 and 51, like halfway down the line. And they were doing what's called a trunk show. Many of you may be familiar with. It's like an informal fashion show with a mm -hmm. among the guests. And I'm looking at the clothes and I'm like, huh. You know, some good stuff, some stuff. And by the time I got to the table for my autographed duffel bag, uh, I had some feedback for Tommy Hilfiger on his clothes. <laughs> and the woman who was standing next to him, yeah. his, his handler looked shocked. Like she had seen a ghost. But Tommy was really open to the feedback about the clothes. And he offered me an internship on the spot. And uh, I had never knew, I was studying graphic design at the time. Uh, I didn't know that graphic designers worked in fashion. And, you know, being from New Jersey, I could get to New York quickly. So I literally went back to my dorm and was like, mom, I got to get the hell out of Atlanta and get back close to New York. And real fast. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I, I transferred out of Morehouse and uh, Tommy took me under his wing as his first ever intern. Uh, I didn't know at the time that I was his first intern, but the label was relatively new. And I stayed with him for about a semester. And he said, when you get out of college, come back, you'll have a job. I wasn't sure if he was really telling the truth, but he was. I went back about a semester before graduation and he said, uh, I can't give you a job when you graduate because I need you right now. We're growing so quickly. You can finish up school at night. So I started working for him in the middle of my senior year. And I stayed for many years, uh, leaving as the VP of Art Direction. I was there for probably about 15 years in total. I uh, stayed on as a consultant. And he's still, you know, somebody who is like an industry dad, uh, someone who guides me and mentors me to this day. So we've, uh, we've had some great times together. And I'm so fortunate that he took me under his wing. He paid for the rest of my college uh, and just allowed me to learn from a master around design and marketing and pulling together a global brand. So yeah, big, big relationship.